Thursday to you. I hope you're having a good morning. I wanted to pull a card out of the nature deck. Now this is a Dr. Stephen D. Farmer. I've had it for a while and haven't pulled many out of here. Messages from the Spirits of Nature Oracle. It's a guidebook. So let's just see what in nature is going to help us the most. What is going to help us the most? All right. River flow. And it has a number 32 on there. River flow. I'm just going to send and hold space for anyone that wants to pray for other people or anything you want to do with this energy. So I'm just sending out while I read. Here we go. If you look down at the earth from space, rivers look like the arteries and veins of our planet. Similar to the channels that carry blood throughout the human body, rivers move immensely large volumes of water throughout the earth. A river transports nutrients from the land and provides a home for many organisms. They play an essential role in ecological balance. As long as with other elements of the earth, they continually reshape the land's surface. All rivers and streams start at a high point, such as a mountain or an elevated area. There begins the flow to the lower areas. Streams may join with making their way to oceans or lakes. Along the way, the flow may be hindered by blockages, whether formed naturally or by animals or humans. In spite of these obstructions, each river has a prosperity, prospensity, of its of these in <laughs> each river has a propensity for finding its way under around or through these obstacles steadily and persistently flowing to its ultimate destination being in the flow is a state of consciousness where when we fully are immersed in and enjoying whatever process we're involved in when you're in the state of consciousness, you are fully present, whether performing a task, taking a stroll in nature, or spending time with another person. There are, multiple, there are a multitude of distractions that can present temporary blockages to that flow, such as worry about the future, regrets about the past, or concern about how others perceive you. All of these mental gyrations serve to keep you from being fully present and moving with the flow of life. With clear intention and an abiding sense of purpose, you can go through, under, or around the things you find that keep you out of the flow and write them in your journal. Several times a day for the next few days, whenever you become aware of that occurring state out loud, whenever you have that happening, state out loud, I am here now. I am in the flow of life. I am the flow. I am life. Let this be your mantra whenever stress overwhelms you. I am flow. I am life. I am here now. I love it. <laughs> you can tell I haven't um, read those cards very many times, but I think it's so powerful. I love what it said. We get distracted so many times by other things, worry, that does us no good because things are going to happen anyway. Things just keep happening. Change comes. And for us to sit and worry, it steals our moments of the present. So we need it to just flow like the river. <laughs> All right. And I'm just going to send out some grounding energy to the root chakra. Calling on Archangel Michael to commune with us and really um, just... Help us cut the cords of anything that's obstructing our free-flowing river. Allow us to have the ability to stay in the present moment, whether it be at work, with friends, even alone with our thoughts. We are here, we're in the flow, and it's happening right now. All right, guys, just locking that in. 
Let's do a couple grounding exercises. So I'm going to go ahead and back up again and just say put your hands by your hips and breathe in and then flatten your hands just like this out out and again and out and let's do a couple blow out the venoms breathing in love and light and out and again And getting your energy going, let's do a heaven and earth. Breathing in. And release. And again. And release. And then your middle finger on your belly button, one on your third eye, and just relax and breathe, connecting you from heaven to earth. We're going to end it with just, I'm going to go to the side so you can see better, but just having your hands facing down and breathing in that energy from the earth. And release. And then flipping your hands up and breathing in that heaven energy. And release. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you again tomorrow.